Welcome back to Fox and Friends. Their motto is, if not me, then who? Words Marine First Lieutenant Travis Mannion lived by before his death in Iraq in 2007. Ten years later, the Travis Mannion Foundation has sparked a movement among veterans and survivors, inspiring the next generation to selfless service and striving to strengthen the nation's character. And this week, they gathered in advance of today's Army-Navy game for inspiration from American heroes like former Secretary Donald Rumsfeld and current Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Joe Dunford, at their annual gala with yours truly as the MC. We began the Travis Mannion Foundation 10 years ago uh, with five words, if not me, then who? And we've been able to take that movement and stretch it across the country. What better way for us to teach our next generation about what it means to live a life of character than to share the stories of the men and women who volunteer to put on our nation's uniform and to step forward and serve. When you travel, uh, as you do all across this world and country, and you see a young service member, maybe weary, what do you say to him? I walk up and, and look at him and say, you know, uh, there's an awful lot of us who really appreciate what you're doing. Those men and women represent patriotism, to be sure, character, to be sure, but also qualities of discipline and, and uh, determination which are characteristics we all admire. Every single person serving in the military is there because they want to be there. They've raised their hand and said, send me. Well, God bless you. I am inspired every single day by our future leaders. So seeing what uh, the young men and women in our country are doing day in, day out, uh, is what motivates me. And so that's why I love being a volunteer with Travis Manning Foundation, because they realize that uh, our youth are really our future leaders. In 2003, during the invasion of Iraq, I had the honor of first meeting Joe Dunford, then Colonel. Now, he is General Dunford, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, the highest ranking officer. General, it's nice to see you again. It's good to see you too, Griff. General, tonight at this gala, you're inspiring the legacy of the selfless service in young folks. What are you saying to them? Well, one of the things that this group is all about is they say that it, character matters. And, uh, and I think the real message is to, to be a part of something bigger than yourself and to live in the footsteps of individuals like Travis Mannion, Brendan Looney, and the other individuals who are being honored tonight. Uh, one of the commitments that we make is to never forget events like this are about keeping alive the legacy of these, uh, of these men and women that have made the ultimate sacrifice. And what I say to them is that we made a commitment not to forget, and I hope my presence here tonight makes sure they know that we are going to meet that commitment. Did you ever think in those days when I was a kid cameraman chasing you around in the dirt that I would end up at a gala like this interviewing you or delivering you your news? Griff, that's probably the easiest question you've asked me and a simple answer is no. <laughs> General, thank you very much and Thanks. we appreciate your services. Great to see you, Griff. Thanks. So, General Dunford there. <laughs> you know, awesome. General Dunford mentioned uh, Brendan Looney, Navy SEAL. He was uh, Travis Manion's best friend. They are buried side by side in Arlington. Yeah. And another little fact, uh, Secretary Rumsfeld was the congressman many years ago who put forth the all voluntary military it was because of rumsfeld that we have that today very That's cool excellent man. i love well that. well done Griff. i'm also shocked job. every day that you bring the news to america <laughs> <laughs> easy no That's an easy i love that answer